Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel and this is question number 22 from the February, March 2022 paper 22 from um, the IGCSE 0580 syllabus from Cambridge. And this question says the diagram shows a trapezium O, P, Q, R. O is the origin. O to R is A. O to P is B. Obviously, these are the parallel sides, R, Q and O, P. Um, it says the magnitude of RQ is equal to three-fifths of the magnitude of OP. In fact, we can take this further because these must be parallel if it's a trapezium. These are obviously the parallel sides. We can actually say not only is the magnitude of RQ three-fifths of OP, the vector RQ is three-fifths the vector OP. Okay, we can, that follows on from that if because those are parallel. So parallel vectors can be expressed in terms of each other. It says find the vector from P to Q in terms of A and B in its simplest form. Okay, so we want to find the vector from P to Q. Now, from P to Q, we can go around the whole thing. We can say from P to O, plus from O to R, and then from R to Q. And all of those we actually have. So we know that um, P to Q, or P to O, P to O is the vector negative B. And O to R is the vector A. And we can say R to Q, as we know, is three-fifths of O to P, okay, which is three-fifths of the vector B. Three-fifths of the vector B. So you have plus three-fifths of B. So we have feel like we have to just simplify this. This is like, if we add these two together, we have to combine these like terms. This is like minus five over five plus three over five. So minus five plus three is minus two. So you're left with A minus two-fifths b a minus two fifths b and we can kind of see if we that's a minus two fifths b a minus two fifths of b okay rq is um so you got a so we're trying to get from p to q so we got a minus two fifths b that's right so from p to q it's like you go a and then minus two fifths of B. So it looks like it takes us to the right place. So we can be pretty sure that's correct. Then it says part B when P and Q are P, Q and O are extended, they intersect at W. So when P, Q is extended and O, R is extended, they meet at the point W. Okay, so this here, where they two, where those two meet is W. Okay, so this is W. All right. Find the position vector of W. So we got to find the vector from O to W. So I know it's going to be something times A. It's going to be more than one A. Um, so we got to try and work out what that is. Well, we know from um, these two diagrams, this this is parallel to this. So this is a angle equal to that angle. And this is an angle equal to that angle. So we can say the triangle WRQ is similar to the triangle W O P. They're similar triangles. Okay, so that means um, I can think about this. This remember this is three fifths of B. So I can see the ratio of these two sides. I know, um, as we know from here, that um, we know the length of R Q is three fifths O P. As I said, so we know R Q is three fifths O P. So I can say that the ratio of the sides. Okay, I can say the ratio of the sides, I can say RQ over OP is 3 over 5. Okay, RQ over OP is 3 over 5. Okay, so that means because they're similar, similar triangles, I can say therefore that um, RW, because they're similar, RW over OW is also equal to 3 over 5. RW over OW, the ratio of the sides must be the same. So the ratio of this side to that side is the same as the ratio of that side to that side. So if I rearrange this, I can say OW must be equal to, um, or let's, let's write it in terms of RW is better. So we can say therefore that RW is three-fifths of OW. And we can write these as vectors as well, no problem, that's fine, because they are along the same line. So RW is three-fifths of OW. So RW is three-fifths of OW. That means the whole thing is five parts. 
and this is three parts, so this must be two parts. So what I can say here is, if I want to find what OW is, OW is going to be 5 over 2 of OR. 5 over 2 of OR, which is 5 over 2 times A. So OW is 5 over 2 A. There's the answer to that question. We could have also found, I guess, um, that RW is 3 over 2 A. Okay, it's 3 over 2 A. And then 2 plus 3 over 2 is 5 over 2. We could have done it that way. Well, this is easier, I think. Right, the whole thing is five parts. This is two parts, that is three parts. So I know from here to here is, is, is A. So from here to there must be A plus another A plus a half A, two and a half A. Okay, because that's three parts. So you can just think of it in terms of these ratios. That's a very easy way of doing this question using similarity. Okay, because these two are similar triangles. It's a big triangle. This big triangle here and the small triangle are similar triangles. We can use the ratio of these lengths that we know and the ratio of these lengths and we've got the answer. And there's the answer to part B and that's the end of this question and I think the end of this paper. Yeah, that's the end of this paper. Um, other questions from this paper will be found in the playlist that will appear in this area here. Other questions from this topic of vectors can be found in this playlist. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking over here. Thank you for watching and see you soon.